Gentleman yields, uh, Chair recognizes Ms. Titus. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would just have to say, here we go again. The Republicans have shown that they can't govern, so let's find some circus to have, some political event and some sham uh, hearing on uh, censure for the secretary. You know, instead of doing that, why don't we work with the State Department in order to really get answers to the questions that we have instead of just uh, throwing out these accusations and uh, filling up the time with political stunts. If you get beyond the bluster, you can look at the facts. Secretary Blinken has willingly responded to questions on the Afghan withdrawal in 14 public hearings since August 21st, uh, August 2021, including four hearings before this very committee. The State Department has produced 20,000 pages of documents to this committee on the withdrawal and made 15 State Department witnesses available for individual full day transcribed interviews. The secretary also made unprecedented accommodations for members of the committee to view a dissent channel cable in compliance with a different subpoena and a separate threat of contempt for, from another committee. He has tried to work with the majority to comply with this most recent subpoena by offering alternative dates, but that was ignored because we're focusing on policy and not working uh, in good faith. Now, you've heard that he's hiding in New York with the uh, United Nations General Assembly. Let's look at what he's really doing there. He's representing the United States at the UN Security Council's debate on the war in Ukraine, publicly engaging with Russian and Chinese foreign ministers on this critical topic. Surely we can agree that that's important. Alongside President Biden, he's also going to be hosting the U.S.-led Global Coalition on Synthetic Drugs to Fight the Production and Trafficking of Fentanyl, which we have heard ad nauseum from the other side about how important it is, but apparently not so much now. He's also going to hold a bilateral meeting with the UN Secretary General, meet with foreign ministers from Africa on China's Belt and Road, which we also hear about constantly, and participate in other high-level engagements that have been the result of months long planning. The dates for this were announced long ago, so if this were really a good faith effort to bring the secretary, it would not have been scheduled for today. This is just headline grabbing, pontificating, political circus, I can't think of any other word, to highlight once again a report that's already been released, a misleading partisan report that we didn't have any kind of input in, spurious, cherry-picked facts to support a manufactured narrative. All of this today, why today is this so critical, except for the fact that we knew that the secretary was not going to be able to be here. So it's really, there's, uh, there's no smoking gun. It's just a lot of blowing smoke. Thank you, and I yield back. Generally, yields. I must remind the committee, the secretary... Uh, was offered any day in September, not just today. Secondly, he didn't produce the after action report or the dissent cable until he was threatened with a motion of contempt, which stalled our investigation to this day. That's why we are where we are in September. Chair recognizes Mr. Waltz. 